Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a couple months and the most frequent DM I get on Instagram is people asking me how I make this invisible stroke effect in Photoshop. So today I'll answer your question. Now, this is just the way I prefer to do it. There's probably so many other ways you can do the same thing. Um, this is just how I prefer doing it and I'll explain why later. Let's get started. Firstly, let's write our text. I usually go with a pretty big bold sans serif font combined with a script font, but you can definitely change fonts and mix and match them however you prefer. So my top font is gonna be owners and I'm gonna go with a black. I'll duplicate the text layer and write my second word. I don't want this to be all caps, so I'll remove it. You can do that by just clicking on here and then change the font. I'll go with Sweet Fancy Script. These fonts are both Adobe fonts, so if you have a Creative Cloud subscription, you can download those for free. I'll just resize my text and position it where I want. I usually also slant it a little bit and I can do that by just holding down command and then just click and drag. Kind of like that. I'll just make sure it's everything is centered. I duplicate the text layer that has to have the stroke. In this case, it's the script part. So I'll duplicate that layer double click on it and click on the stroke. You can choose whichever size um, you prefer. I'll go with probably something like 15. I usually position it outside and leave the rest as is. I'll then right click and convert it to a smart object. I'll then command and click on the little icon here and I can now toggle the layer visibility. I'll then select my Photoshop layer and add a layer mask to that and then command I to invert it. It's not that complicated, but here's why I do it this way. I like that I can still change all my text. I can change my font. I can change the color of my text. I can change the stroke amount and all that good stuff. What I also like to do after that is just reconvert everything into a smart object. It's also not merged into your background. So if you wanna put an image back there instead of a plain black background, you can definitely do that. If you want to save this as a PNG and use it as a title card, you can do that. You can just double click on it and change its color. Otherwise, since it's still fully all editable, you can just double click on your smart object and you have your individual text layers. So you can change their color from here as well. So let's say we want them um, to be a red. All you have to do is just close it, make sure to save it, and it will be updated in here as well. And that's basically it. There are other ways to do it. I'm gonna show you a really quick other way you can do it, but not as good as this one. You're just going to double click on the script text, add your stroke, and you wanna make sure the color is set as same color of your background. You can then select all your layers, right click, convert to a smart object. You can just now change the blending mode of it to something like lighten and screen because our background is black. Another way to do it is just double click on it and, and move the blend if slider a little bit. If you have to do really basic and simple things, you can use this option too, but I don't see why you should when you have a fully customizable and really good method. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, subscribe, ring that doorbell if you wanna get notified whenever I post. Also comment and let me know if you have a totally different way of going about this. And if you have any requests or suggestions for next tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.